Hello and welcome. This is Michelle Christensen of OneNoteworthy Life, and in this video I'm going to show you how I use Quick Notes in OneNote. I'm filming in OneNote for Windows 10, so if your screen looks different than mine, it might be because you're using a different device or version of OneNote. So I love getting your questions and comments, and I often end up making a video in response to your questions. This video came in response to Bill's question on how I use Quick Notes. The comment reads, Hi Michelle, I was wondering if you ever use Quick Notes. I cannot see how it is useful for jotting down Quick Notes as opposed to writing down a Quick Note into a designated notebook, which would be one extra minor step to do this. Thanks, Bill. So first let's talk about what are Quick Notes. Well, Quick Notes are a section that is created for you when you first set up OneNote. This is what my actual default notebook looks like. When you first set up, you usually get a notebook with your first name followed by notebook. So for me, it's Michelle's notebook. And this is what it actually looks like. Uh, this Quick Notes section was created for me when I first set up OneNote. And as a side note, the Contacts section was created when I used Microsoft Office Lens to scan a business card uh, one time and then it created that section for me. And so I just thought that was interesting that either Office Lens or OneNote knows uh, that that was a business card and created that contact section for me. So I use Quick Notes for two main purposes. The first is uh, a holding place and the second is as a default destination for any time I'm sending things into OneNote. So in the first place, um, as a holding place, I use Quick Notes as a general inbox um, when I'm not sure what something is or where it should go. So this could be any random thing that I come across, like a link, a song, something I want to remember, a reminder, etc. If it's obvious, I do sometimes put the thing where it belongs, as Bill mentioned in his comment. I usually process the items in this section during my weekly review, which is part of the GTD or Getting Things Done system. As described in GTD, I capture these things because they grabbed my attention. But when I process them, I decide what I want to do with them and put them where they belong. Having a quick drop spot for these random items helps me not get distracted when I'm capturing something. Instead of analyzing that thing and deciding where it needs to go and then navigating there, I can quickly drop it in here and then shorten the time it takes to capture it and not risk getting distracted by something along the way. My second purpose, purpose for Quick Notes is as a default destination for anything I send to OneNote. As I just described, I process the items in this section as part of my regular routines, and that's important because it gives me comfort that I'm not just dropping things into a black hole never to be seen again. There are lots of ways to send things into OneNote, and I'm going to show you just two that I use frequently right here. So this is a screenshot of my phone's homepage, and in the upper right you see the OneNote floating badge. It's a, There's an orange arrow pointing to it. And I can enable this button through the OneNote app on my phone, and the button shows up on every screen on my phone, so even if I move off the home screen and onto another screen that shows apps, the floating button stays with me. I can tap the floating button at any time and it Im immediately pops open a new page which will be stored in the Quick Notes section. So this can be really handy if I want to jot something down in the moment. I know it's stored in Quick Notes and that I will get back to it later. This works well not only for written notes but you can also capture a photo or sometimes I use it to capture a product label so I can go back and research that item later. Now I use an Android phone and I don't think this feature has come to other mobile devices yet. The other way I'm going to show you how to send things into OneNote uh, is using Microsoft Office Lens. So Office Lens is a Microsoft app for your phone that turns your phone into a scanner. Once Office Lens has scanned your document or image, you have a choice of where you want to save it, which you see on your screen right now. The choices include OneDrive, your phone's image gallery, and OneNote, among others. If I choose to save it to OneNote, it goes to my Quick Notes section by default. In this case, you can change the save destination by clicking the downward arrow and picking a different notebook, but the Quick Notes section is the default. 
So that's it. That's how I use Quick Notes in OneNote. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you want to see more OneNote tutorials like this, as well as content on GTD or getting things done and personal organization, please hit the subscribe button. And if you like this, please hit the like button so that YouTube knows it's valuable and they will show it to additional people. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.